Welcome to The Trend, I'm Rebecca Granite. Netflix's romantic comedy series Love is back for season two on March 10th, this Friday, and I'm here with the super talented actor, comedian, and writer, Paul Rust, who plays Gus on the show. So, Paul, thank you for coming Paul, today. Thanks for having me, Rebecca. Of course. I would imagine, Paul, that this would be an incredibly fun show to work on because it's almost like Netflix gave you real estate to sort of develop the main characters, Gus and Mickey, in, in any way you sort of please. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, there's, there's a, they give you so much freedom. Not just freedom, but also like support. You know, it's like mm -hmm. emotional support of like. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're there for they're you. They're a good parent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come to all the baseball games and cheer for you in the Aww. bleachers. Yeah, but uh, no, they're they're great. And then also, yeah, the show's so much fun to work on because uh, the um, just the actors that we bring in are like a lot of times comedians who I've been working with for years and stuff so a lot of times being on the set is just like hanging out with friends it's just, just really great ha having fun yeah the progression of the relationship mm -hmm. of of Gus and Mickey is is a slow one yeah is, is the understatement of the year <laughs> uh, what what is fun or what is exciting about getting to tell a story in that way having the time to sort of develop it from its its very first moments yeah well we were in um, a unique position to begin with, that it was on Netflix, where you know people are watching episodes three, four episodes at a time, or yeah. sometimes maybe all 10 or all 12 in a row. So you already know that that's the way people are going to watch it. And then the other sort of unique thing that we had was that we had been picked up for uh, two seasons. So we knew um, we weren't kind of going like a, if it had been a network show, it would have sort of been like week to week, you're sort of holding your breath, wondering if you're going to be coming back. and. Uh, the relationship would have moved much, much quicker because it would have been like, oh, by episode two, they need to be... In love. Yeah, they need like to be proposing you. to each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They need to have a kid. Yeah. Uh, and, and knowing that we had already sort of 22 episodes waiting for us, it, it really was about like, oh, we can move as... You know, it, it is gradual, but I think it's also... What we liked about it is it felt authentic to like how people get into relationships, which is like it's, it's rarely that it... it kicks off right away. A lot of times it's sort of about like, you know, trains not being uh, there on time. Yeah, Literally, so, it figured sometimes out. like fortuitous <laughs> meetings or even just bumping into each other a couple times and yeah. then eventually realizing, hmm, this may be something. Exactly, or... yeah. And then, you know, there's maybe a gap between the first and second date or the second and third date or, you know, what we had in the first season was the person you are, you think you're going to be you know, going out with, they set you up with their roommate because they're yeah. like, I'm not ready to be in a relationship, so maybe I can, like, uh, you know, waste some time with uh, a roommate waste relationship. Some time. Yeah. <laughs> Kill some time. Kill some yeah, time. Yeah. Well, but that's what's so cool about the show is that it's so raw and it's so mm -hmm. real and it's like, this yeah. is what, it reflects sort of what the real world is, what people are going through when they're dating. Yeah. When well, you, you right. created, mm -hmm. you are a co-creator of the show with, with your wife, Leslie, yes. and, and Judd Apatow yes. as well. Um, so let's talk about what you set out to do when you were creating mm -hmm. creating this show. How did it come about, and what was your sort of goal with this? Yeah, well, you know, uh, it originally started as a, a, my my now wife Leslie Arfin. Mm -hmm. uh, when we were dating, she was a writer for girls, and I was writing um, Pee Wee's Big Holiday uh, for Judd, um, this Pee Wee Herman movie. So sure. we were both working with Judd. And uh, uh, my manager, uh, very smartly, was like, you guys should pitch something to him if you're both in his camp. So we, uh, we pitched a, a movie that was sort of loosely based on us. And Judd uh, liked the characters in the movie. And he had this long-term uh, long idea for a, um, a, a TV show about a, that follows one relationship from wow. beginning to end. And he was like, well, I have this idea. I like these characters. Maybe we could put these two together and you, we could do a TV show based on it. And so that was uh, the jumping off point. And then after that, you know, I think Judd, Leslie and I, the, the, the three of us were sort of all in alignment about uh, just making sure that things felt true and authentic. And, you know, it's, it's interesting because it is, it does have parallels to like when you are dating somebody, you know, like you... You only show the pictures that like look really good. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. with, like your Facebook photo is like the one with good lighting. Hey, what do you mean? No, we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we all do it. We all do it. But <laughs> we all wake up like this. What? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, with perfect lighting, and then people are constantly looking at you from above, yeah, as opposed exactly. to from below. You, and nobody, everybody doesn't look at me like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. So then you know, I think the idea, in a way, was that the the show is sort of more about the. The photos that aren't as as well uh, uh, crafted and set up. So you you do it's, it's it is the picture where you you know you have the pimple or the bad hair or whatever you know the, showing all the different yeah elements. yes exactly. How much of this, Paul, is based on your relationship with your wife, Leslie? Since you both are writing it, how much of your experiences did you bring to the script? Um, well. All the stuff that you really like and think are good about the couple, that's that's us. That's you guys. And then all the complicated <laughs> stuff, that's some other couple that we based on. Uh, Great answer. <laughs> no, no, no. It, you know, it, it very quickly became not based on us and not about us because... Um, the the original idea of it was like, hey, maybe we could be characters who are, you know, have been through therapy and have come out on the other side and are trying to have their hardest to have a healthy relationship. And Judd was like, that'd be very boring. You don't want to see two people who, who are trying to, you know, get better. Uh, you want to see people who are struggling. So the it, it was us, but maybe before we met each other, like five, ten years ago, when we were still figuring stuff out. When you yeah. were writing it, did either of you learn anything about the other one or the other one's past relationships or experiences based off of sort of bouncing ideas off each other? Oh, well, you know, like, there was definitely stuff that we would experience and then put on the show, you know, like, Leslie um, uh, went and got a, she, she has tattoos and she went to a, a, she got, somebody gave her a tattoo, this artist who we both really like, and then, the artist, uh, he just does this thing where he's like, you can give me a tattoo. So he said that to Leslie, and Leslie was like, okay. And so she gave him a tattoo. She, Leslie, g gave for like the first, she, was, she didn't know how to do first this. Time. First time. Yeah, this guy's just like, yeah, I don't care. Like, that's what I like to do. I like people oh just to give me a gosh. tattoo. And we thought that was so funny that we... Uh, well, what did she give him a tattoo of? I think she gave it, oh, uh, of a... Uh, Leslie likes to draw the uh, Playboy Bunny logo. Oh, she did. So she, she gave that to him. <laughs> And, uh, oh my gosh. and that became a, a, a plot point in the first season. Sure. I go to a party, and then some guy's like, you can tattoo me, and then I, I give him a tattoo. So that was just purely based on an experience Leslie had that oh, I didn't know about. That know. is yeah. so cool. I yeah. love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So season one premiered last year. Mm -hmm. uh, let's, let's sort of give perspective here. What can we expect in season two coming out this Friday? Mm -hmm. and, and sort of we left off at a very exciting moment in, yeah. in Gus and Mickey's relationship yeah. or, or, you know, what it's starting to whatever become. It is, what it's, yeah. Or whatever it is, exactly. <laughs> what, you know, give us perspective of, of where it was and, and where we're going, if you can. Yeah, um, well, the season one ended with Mickey uh, telling Gus, hey, you know, I like you, but I'm just not in a place for a relationship right now. Give me a year, maybe we can get a coffee and then, you know, see where, where it lands. But maybe we should just take some time off. And uh, because I sense her pulling away, I kiss her. And, uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's a great a, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also, it's funny, it's, it's interesting. On set, everybody, it's what we were going for, but everybody was kind of having conversations about, like, is this a good thing or a bad thing? You know, because some people would be like, well, the reason he's kissing her is because in that moment he sees that she's being vulnerable for the first time, and it's like, oh, this is all I wanted from you was just to, for you to be honest and vulnerable, and that's what I'm attracted to. And other people were like, no, he's being a jerk. She's like saying, she I need time. Space, yeah. yeah, and he's like, no, I don't want my toy to go. You know, yeah. like some babyish attitude. My toy. <laughs> <laughs> that's how like people like to be humans like to be referred yeah, exactly. to, as, right? My toy. Yeah. Everybody's significant other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, season two picks up. Up, uh, pretty soon, right on the heels of that moment, mm -hmm. and it, then season two, a lot of time, in a way, uh, is kind of informed by that. Is, is like this thing of, oh, did we move into it too soon? We know the, there's red flags, but the thing we've been saying lately is like, uh, there are red flags, but for them, it's like the the bull and the matador, <laughs> where <laughs> you see the red flag and you go charging at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they go right for yeah, it. Yeah, so of you're course. attracted to it, yeah. Uh, speaking of things that people will be attracted to, mm -hmm. some guest stars that you guys are yeah. going to have on, this, on the show season two. Mm -hmm. who, who are some of the names that we can 
Uh, drop some names, Paul. Yeah, drop some big fat <laughs> names. Uh, the uh, the one I was really excited about was uh, we had uh, David Spade uh, came, and he plays um, the father of Aria, the the young actress who I'm a student teacher for on set. Okay, perfect. Uh, and, and David plays this really uh, uh, this character that you haven't really seen him play before, which is like this sort of. Uh, Sad dad is what we call him. The uh, sad dad. The sad dad. Yeah, and he's a guy who. I uh, was gonna try to combine that, but it just ends up being sad. <laughs> oh, oh, you want to do the dad. yeah? Just sad. Yeah. Work. <laughs> yeah, I took the I dropped the D off of dad and yeah. add the S. Doesn't everyone like, yeah. get it? Like. <laughs> uh, so we have him, and then uh, uh, we have uh, Randall Park, who's amazing, and. Uh, who else? Uh, Rich Summer from Mad Men has a really great wow. part, and uh, Daniel Stern. Just to, and then, in addition to names, you know, the the also really fun part of the show is, you know, I, I'm a been performing at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater for like a sure, decade, yeah. and and uh, cross paths with a lot of talented people, and it's nice to. Uh, present to people sort of like, hey, you don't know this person yet, but they're the best and you're going to love them. So that's, that's been fun too. Well, if, if that, season one was any indication, I think everyone's going to love season two. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Everyone seems to be very <laughs> excited about this one. Yeah. So it's, it's a lot of buzz. Yeah. With that, I'm going to move us on to the 10 for 10 challenge. Sure. You get 10 questions. Okay. 10 seconds to answer each, All roughly. Right. We're not okay. very strict here, yeah. but we try. So 100 <laughs> seconds total. Yes, Quick pretty much. Quick math I did there. That was uh, very, yeah, very good. Yeah. I'm very I'm, impressed. No, I'm terrible at math. <laughs> <laughs> but you did, you did well. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah. Good thing for you is that none of these are math questions. Okay, good, so. <laughs> good, 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 good. Are you ready for your first one? Yes, and you know, it's interesting yes. that the, that it's 10 for 10 because the show comes out March 10th. Mm -hmm. Found my little plug there. That was very see good. Yeah, 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 see, yeah. We, yeah. we planned that in advance. We created this segment. We were waiting for you to show up, and now it's all These are usually full based circle. on whatever the date it comes out on. Exactly, right? yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. going to be like 17 yeah. for 17. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but this is 10 for 10 because the show comes out March 10th. Yes, yes. Here we go. First First one, writing or acting? Oh, I like acting because it combines writing with uh, performing. It's good. Works for me. Yeah. Three words to describe the relationship between Gus and Mickey. Gus and Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. so, like, you watch a show that makes so much, like, yes, of course, it just, it is what it is. Uh, funniest moment you had on set? Oh, uh, I once boy <laughs> we'll give you a few more seconds oh, we, 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 uh, <laughs> we, we do an episode uh, where uh, we, we uh, well I shouldn't it's public right we dance and it's fun we had a great time dancing uh, okay. but it was like seven hours of just like sweaty dancing exhausting dancing but it was it was good good workout good workout yeah. and, uh, and yeah. fun and laughing at the same yes, time yes yes your most disastrous date that you've ever been on? Um, somebody, the first text I ever received in, in the history of text, my first text was somebody uh, breaking off a first date. So that was pretty terrible. Oh like, no, to, so you didn't even get to the date. No, no. <laughs> it didn't even happen. It didn't even happen. And then I called the person and I was like, Hey, so what are we still meeting up? And she was like, "Didn't you get my text?" And I was like, "That's what that's called." The, oh like my that's God. how it's I like figured it out. The Stone yeah. Ages of no, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the disastrous date that never got there. Yeah. So, your favorite thing about working with Judd Apatow? Uh, Judd is a uh, he loves uh, talking about feelings and your thoughts and the stuff in your heart, which I really like. I love those conversations. He's sensitive? He's like emotional? Yeah, yeah. I like that he's sensitive. It's, it's a rare thing uh, in, in showbiz to, to meet the person who's like actually sensitive and, and thoughtful. So that's what I like the Aww, most. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's sweet. And he's a funny dude. Yeah, yeah I would yeah, imagine, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. cracking jokes yeah, on the side. Yeah. Okay, Gus is a tutor on uh -huh. the show. Yes. If you could tutor any subject in real life, what would it be? So a subject that you think you could make a difference in or, or uh, add something to. Yeah. Well, my mom is a, an English teacher, and she was my teacher in high school. She taught me 
for four years. That's longer than 10 seconds, was though, like unpacking what that was. Yeah, no, that's what but, <laughs> <laughs> but I think... Uh, I, homeschooled, by the way? Or no, 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 no. Like no. in school? I, yeah, my high school that I went to, my mom happened to be a teacher at as oh, well. So you were the teacher's pet. <laughs> yeah, no. I, no? Got a, I got a couple of detentions, actually. Did she didn't give you all A's and everything? Uh, she did, but not because... Uh, I loved English. You earned it? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, earned yeah, it. Got yeah. it. Okay, if it, it had been math, it would I'll have been a different you story. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd say, yeah, I'd like to teach uh, English. Yeah. English? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring some of your mom's yeah, influence into it. Yeah, that's right. Who is your biggest comedic influence? Hmm. I don't know. Uh... Well, you know, I, I co-wrote this uh, a Pee Wee Herman movie with Paul Rubens, and uh, I grew up loving Pee Wee, so I'd say I'd say Pee Wee Herman. Was, Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like yeah, that yeah, a lot. Yeah. You were, well, raised in Iowa. Mm -hmm. You now live in L.A. Yes. L.A. or Iowa? Iowa, baby! That's it. You <laughs> yeah. gotta represent. Yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> Speaking of Iowa, uh -huh. I recently learned that, is it, am I saying it, Lamar's? Yes. Lamar's, Iowa Lamar's. is the ice cream capital of the world. Right. So, in the spirit of loving ice cream, yeah. what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Gosh, you know, it, uh, I, love a, I love a fudgy chocolate. Mm, yes, I'm so, I love chocolate too, perfect, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I'm not fudgy. so boring that it's just plain chocolate. It has to be like fudge. double chunk, yeah, triple. Yeah, some peanut butter maybe in there oh, and peanut stuff. Peanut butter and chocolate, yeah, that's yeah, a good one that's too. Good, like yeah. a Reese's, a Reese's Yeah, Reese's. you know. Absolutely. <laughs> your last one. Uh huh. How will you celebrate the release of season two on Friday? Oh, um, probably, you know, we're, we're, we start shooting season three like two days after uh, season two comes out. So the yeah, way so you're about you're about a week out from, yeah. from starting season three. Yeah. And yeah, wow, that's, In like that's six, a lot. Five or six days we'll be shooting season three. So wow. I'll be celebrating by uh, by working. By and, working. Yeah, and, and getting ready for season three, which actually is a is a nice gift. By it's continuing good. to get in touch with Gus. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, Paul, you are fabulous. You're great. Thank oh, you for coming thanks. out. Thank and, you for and having me. Yeah, creating Rebecca. this wonderful show. Yeah. Love is going to be out there season two, Friday, March 10th. Don't miss it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Paul. you, Rebecca. Thank you.